What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Poe Town Heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. I'm Rhyhorn Trainer Steven. Focus Scientist Sean. And today we actually got a fun deck for you guys, but it's one that's actually been circulating since Ultra Prism finally dropped. Um, it's Garchomp. Yeah. I mean, we every... already went over Empoleon, so let's do the other starter deck. Exactly. Um, now, to be perfectly honest, uh, this is the list we end up going up with. It looks relatively normal and. The reason we're bringing it out so late is because uh, we were trying to see if we can do something a little bit different to it. And there's really no variant of Garchomp. It's kind of a, it's kind of predictable. Yeah. Um. We did. We were trying to figure out how to do possibly uh, two two Altaria like we did for uh, the the uh, Como video. Unfortunately, I uh, it just was really clunky and it didn't work out as well as I wanted to. So we just kind of did a our take on the basic list, and it all revolves around Garchomp. Yay! Yep, uh, hundred. It's a Dragon Pokemon for 150 HP. I uh, double colorless energy, quick dive. It does 50 to one of your opponent's Pokemon, but honestly, no one, hardly anybody uses that attack. Everyone goes after the Royal Blades. For a fighting energy and a double colorless energy, it does 100 damage, and if you play to Cynthia from your hand, it does 100 more. So that's 200 damage for... 10 damage off of all the important stage 1 GXs. Exactly. I, I will admit, the only thing I'm not a big fan of is its dragon typing, because your... No weaknesses are applied. No, you're hitting nothing for weakness. I... Uh, and you're weak to a meta weakness. Exactly, with... Uh, Gardevoir. With... Gardevoir, but Gardevoir really hasn't been a thing much lately because of the yeah, fact there's been so metal, much. Metal's been kind of holding it at bay. Yeah, Metal's been holding it at bay. I, uh, just a lot of these decks have just been keeping it at bay. So it's still you'll still see it, but it's it's not really gaining as much traction. But um, so we run a four two four line of the Garchomp. Why not a 444? Well, as awesome as the Gabite is, we our goal is to get the Garchomp out as swinging it as hard as possible, as fast as possible. So we make sure we run rare candies. We make sure to run uh, the Evo Soda. Nope, we run Evo Soda just so we can speed up the evolutions. And then another key card to the deck is obviously it's very much a necessity. Indeed, uh, Lucario, 110 HP fighting. Uh, the Precognitive Aura, once during your turn, if you have a Garchomp in play, you search your deck for a card and put it into your oh, hand. Oh, look, there's a Cynthia. Yep, so there's a Cynthia, there's a Rare Candy, there's whatever you need, when you need it, as long as you got a Garchomp. And then a Fighting and a Colorless, it does 70, and it's not affected by resistance. We're not really going to be attacking with the Lucario that often. We may it's not have... a bad attacker, it's not a great attacker either, so... Yeah, but... To get a knockout if someone knocked out a Garchomp or just that nice little bit of damage while you're trying to set up the Garchomp, it's not a bad attacker, though obviously Garchomp's where we're wanting to go. Uh, and then we also run two of the Alolan Vulpix. Surprise. <laughs> uh, yes, this one's more so we can search the deck for two Pokemon and put them into our, to our hand. Uh, I can definitely tell you, especially the meta's doing it, uh, Zoroark GX. If you happen to get two Zoroark GX, I highly suggest putting those into the deck instead. Your Lele start, Lele Bridges start. Lele Bridges start would be another good one for this, but because we don't we don't have those cards available, we do the Alolan Vulpix. And this is good. It it works for for how we do things. Yes. We run one counter catcher. This is so we can pull up anything that we can easily knock out, especially if we're losing. We run two energy lotto For because DCEs. indeed the the wonderful DCEs and even just the fighting energy if we need it because its cost is a really hefty three. We run two Evo Soda so we can evolve, uh, get the evolutions out as soon as we can. We run a field blower so we can uh, deal with any uh, choice bands or uh, escape boards, yeah. float stones, that kind of thing, stadiums. We run one max potion. Uh, we could run, say, two or three, but you do have to discard all energy from that Pokemon. And if we're doing this, we, we're we either doing it early to make sure that we can guarantee the knockout or we have something on the bench to at least knock it out. And it gives us uh, at least one more turn of survivability. We run three Nest Ball so we can get out the Gibbles and the uh, Riolus as soon as we can. 
we were on three pal pad because we are using the Cynthia supporter over and over and over and over again. And if uh, you miss a Cynthia, you're not hitting hard enough. Exactly. So with the pal pad, it at least puts two Cynthia's back into the deck that we can grab with the Lucario and and just continue swinging for 200. Uh, two rare candies so we can evolve the Garchomps as soon as we can. Uh, two rescue stretchers so we can pull back anything that we need at the moment that we need it. We run uh, two Ultra Ball so we can grab out Garchomps, the rare candy, or the and Lucario. Once you get the Lucario out, Ultra Ball is almost a not necessary card. So Exactly, which is why we are only running two copies of it. Uh, we run two Bridget. This is so we can get set up as soon as possible. Uh, again, you can do the, the Lele Bridget combo turn one so you can get yourself uh, two, all the. Two Gibbles and a reel, reel out. Yeah, get all the pieces that you need, but. Even just having two in the deck, it's it still helps a lot. Uh, we run four Cynthia, including the full art, because you have to. But also, it is such a great supporter card. And even then, we run the full art Cynthia that you guys helped us get. Again, thank you so much. We run uh, two Guzma, so we can pull up specific targets uh, as we need to. Two N for hand disruption and uh, circulation. Yeah, I find out running Cynthia at N is kind of hard to do. It is. Red card's a good substitute, but we don't have red cards on the channel, so... Yeah, so <laughs> so whichever one works. Uh, Professor Sycamore, this is more if you just have an absolute dead hand. Uh, discard your hand and draw seven cards. Gives you a better setup for Cynthia's for the next turn, or Garchomp, so on and so forth. Uh, we run two choice ban. This is, since not a lot of GXs are popping up nowadays, uh, I don't mind dropping the count down a little bit. Yeah. So, so we just attach it to a I Garchomp. Mean, you only need 10 damage to get all the major GXs out, so... Exactly. So, attach this to a Garchomp, you're now doing 230 to a GX. You're knocking all up to Gardevoir. Yeah, I so, think... Decidueye and anything higher, escape it, but... Yeah, I think Decidueye and uh, Gyarados? Yeah. Maybe the other two starters, and but anything, I know at least those and two. And anything 250 and higher. Exactly. Or, uh, one escape board. This is more or less uh, get Lucario's out of the active and Vulpix. Yeah, get uh, Lucario then out of the active. We run four DCE and six Fighting Energy. Uh, again, this is pretty much the the standard list that a lot of people are using, um, with some obvious slight it's, modifications. Yeah. Its major problem is damage output is limited to two forty, which no matter how hard you hit, Metagross laughs in your face. Exactly, because so <laughs> Max Potion. Good job. Exactly, because of the fact uh, we don't we don't have the Lele, we don't have the Zoro, it, it definitely slows it down a little bit, but even then, it still hits for 200, so it really is a fun budget deck. Yeah, and it runs in your favor once you actually get out the Lucario. Exactly. Lucario Chomp. Once you get Lucario Chomp, you just don't lose the Garchomp. Exactly. Plus, even then, uh, the deck, it's it's available as a, as a pre-build. So, uh, you just pick up the theme deck, make a couple modifications to the deck, and you're doing pretty well. Yeah, I tech in one of the uh, ones from Breakpoint, because Volcanion does see play now and again. Mm -hmm. It's good, it, and it applies weakness to some of the big meta cards. That it does. Alright, so they're already having a mulligan, and we start off with a Gibble. That's awesome. That's actually not now a... Well, he can top deck an Ultra Ball to get the Wolfpick started. I oh, know, well, he's... He's already going to have the mulligan, so hopefully we get multiple it mulligans. It looks like we're going first. Yep. So don't tell me we're going up oh, against... Oh, yes, three mulligans. Don't tell me, got, don't tell me we're going up against uh, Luxray. I hope we're not going he up went, against he, Luxray. He went up... He wanted to go second. Uh, There's not a whole lot of decks that want to go second. No, except they for Luxray. Because they want to get that Lele Bridget in as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. We're about to find out. If there's a Shinx under there, we may be at a slight disadvantage. Yeah, a lot of your important stuff to set up, like where candies are shut down, but... Yes, we're going to take all three. Yes, we'll take all three. Nest Ball. We got Bridget and Nest Ball. So, Pikachu zapped us. Okay. So, we're still good. So We got, our, we got probably the perfect start without... We all live. And use Bridget to get two more Gibbles and their full fix. Unless, unless there's another Riolu, which I doubt because it would have been in the stack. Yeah. 
So at least Gibble Gibble Vulpix. Yes. So we're at least set up and good since there. Since we got, uh, we can actually get Vulpix the active this turn. Because that Gibble has free retreat with the fighting energy. Perfect. We'll just, we'll just leave it. We'll just end our turn. This is, I think this is like an absolutely divine turn one. Well then, because game, card game online tends to do this. They give you a first opening hand as like the immaculate one and then screw, then plays around either. But even then, we've got the rare candy for the Garchomp and the DCE. Lucario, so we can go for Cynthia immediately. Exactly. Sycamore. So we can swing for 200 turn two. Which is actually uh, awesome. A knockout turn two. Oh, one shot. <laughs> this two. is this is amazing. Sorry, Pika. We are gonna die. Horribly. All right. So, as long as he doesn't knock out the gibble or switch out. All right. So, Electabuzz. Electabuzz. Zapdos. I wonder what he's act. What he's trying to do. I want to. I want to. Which one? Which right tree he's going for? Is that the lock one or is that the? Even then, I, I kind of want to see how his deck's gonna do. What his deck is to do? I know. Um, All right, so we'll DCE the Gibble. We will rare candy active the Gibble to Garchomp, and go fetch out a Cynthia. Garchomp's fast, but once you start losing Garchomp, the get deck just goes into de defense mode. No pun intended. Okay, so we got at least two Cynthia in the prizes. So we are gonna have to make these count or these shots count. Mm. Oh wait, 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 Eva hold on. Soda. Well, Eva. Now we're looking for the other Riolu. For Gibble. I played it, and if they want, if they, in the mirror match. Whoever gets the first knockout is simply going to win the match because they struggle to keep the gibble, they struggle to keep the guard charm just rolling in. Yeah, that that is true. You, it takes two turns to set up every guard charm, so you, whoever gets their board set up first, and it, yeah. it struggles to break the board if it's not set up first. Mm hmm. But we still at least got got the two hundred knockout on the Pikachu, which is absolutely amazing. I let's see. So what's next? So he brought out the Electabuzz. So yeah, I th I think right now we at least got the Garchomp for next turn. What's he gonna get rid of? PC. Yep. Oh, that, that does hurt a little bit. And he's top decks. <laughs> top decks. Praise the top deck. All right. Uh, All right Tom, let's, get, let's get the Gabite. See if there's a spot open for the real if we pull it out. Yeah, we'll leave it there. We will Aura grab out. Oh, is the other Gabite price too? Cynthia. So at least two Should Cynthia. Get Ultra Ball for it, if anything. Oh, you would just Cynthia for it. Then use Ultra Ball afterwards, or if we draw one. Garton's fast, but if it's proved, if there's a challenge against it, it struggles. We need Ultra Max Ball. Potion, and we don't need Bridget. Yep. Let's just grab the Chomp. We'll grab Garchomp. And we give all of this turn. Yep. And Garchomp has a major feature of uh, free retreat, so. I think the only retreat cost on any Garchomp in the late future, early, was the uh, late recent EXs. Mm hmm. Alright, come on, Cynthia. Oh, Pop Pad, that works. Pop Pad to get Cynthia's, that, that at least works out. I was gonna hope for the another the other Riolu. Yeah, so I think right now we just kind of we're steamrolling. It's it's fast, but it it definitely it, does have its, it's issues. It's easy to be walled. It does have its issues. If you if you keep messing with the energy, then it obviously slows it down. It is a pretty hefty price. However, you know, 
I've never seen that full art, Lily. You know, Steven, you know, coming down the pipeline, there is the fighting one. There is the fighting one, which would hit a lot of things for weakness, especially Zoroarks and everything else. And Zoroark it has the same and attacks, right? They're going to go for the hills. Yeah, it's, and it's essentially the same one. It's just typing, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. Now you have access to strong energy. You have access to Di uh, Diancy Prism, which means now you can actually break that 250 mark without having to add an extra Pokemon. That is true. Like so, the new Altaria <laughs> coming out. So will Palpad for two Cynthia? Batch out one. We'll grab one. Whoa, no, 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 no. No Garchomp. Bad, Gar bad Garchomp. I like your enthusiasm, but you stay there. All right, we'll grab the Cynthia. We'll play the Cynthia. You don't, oh, fly, attach energy. Oh. Pick a Garchomp, any Garchomp. Yeah, consistent. You can get pretty get two thirty consistently, but anything anything a higher hit ones than that, that can play max motion pretty much freely. Yeah, I'm laughing at you. Exactly. So, in expanded right now, we still have access to the ability to Altaria, which we have yet to have the reprint yet. Mm -hmm. It's coming down the pipeline, but we don't know which guaranteed set it's in for the English sets. We know yeah. it's in the Japanese sets. Which what does that do? All dragon start, add twenty damage. So all dragon oh. Pokemon do twenty more. Yeah. So that gives that gives Garchomp that little bit of boost, that, or yeah, at least this he, Garchomp the boost it needs. That's why I'm trying to figure out a way to put a one one line in so I can hit that two fifty mark consistently. Something like this, it would be really easy to do. Yeah, but you, your deck runs really smoothly at two Lucario. Get you one for Palpad, one for Cynthia. You're always in search for stuff. Pretty much. You better run out of steam when all pal pads and all Cynthia's are in the discard. But even then, we know we already know at least two of them are in our prizes right now. Yeah, including, and, the, including the good good one. And and now we know there's two more in the deck. <laughs> and you got the DCE for oh we had to wait. Yeah, we already attached. Throw that skateboard on that Lucario if we need to. Yeah, Lucario. Lucario. But yeah, at this point, you Four just. Blades. You just Cynthia until you win. That's the clutch, though. Cynthia. Oh, look at that. There it is. We didn't get the really, but we got the nice Cynthia we, for the we, final hit. We got the pretty one. Bye-bye, Electabuzz. So if he has no electric, there's the electric, so he can do 90 and 30 to himself. Cynthia! But yeah, I... Uh, Garton's fast. He's he's fun, but he has problems. He does. All decks have their problems, but this I think this one will definitely benefit from the fighting from the fighting Garchomp a lot more because oh, yeah. you'll have access to more things. The strong energy, uh, the weaknesses you can actually hit that are major in the meta. Exactly. Well, if you wanted to keep the dragon one, uh, maybe the Altaria coming down the pipeline that gives dragons plus twenty. Plus 20 damage would be a really good addition to the deck as well. Uh, so, what are you doing, Mr. Pawn Mike? Are you going to hit for 30, hit for 90, or scoop? I hate putting it that way, but I think those are his only options. He hits for 30 and does, yep. Cynthia, let's just play it. Don't need to play around with him. The yeah. other real is prize, so. See if we can actually get to it. Good game, sir. So, that was. Uh... Unfortunately, we didn't get a test against a meta deck, which some people have been commenting about that, but it's like versus is a random. I exactly. wish we could test that against meta. Exactly, but even then, the fact that. Uh... Wait, you know what? I'm going to come back to something real quick. Thousand damage. We swung five times. We we swung five times and did a thousand five damage. Five Cynthia's we had access to during the game. So Garchomp, if you can if you can build it just right, and I think ours is like one of the better ways you could do it. You can hit by you can hit two hundred extremely fast. You can hit two hundred consistently, 
and uh, you can grab out just about any card you need with the right with the right support. Yeah, and it shows fan club slash bridge of turn one is a major thing. So it, it really is. Um, we just were fortunate to have Bridget in early hand. All right, so running this in, running this in expanded. Uh, the alter that's right now currently legal and expanded. Yep, that would work. You don't have to wait for the new one yet. Uh, and then coming you have double dragon, which you don't need. Um, don't you can, need it, but it would definitely help. You can, you can play with other guard chomps as well, in it. Yeah, that that is true. Like the other one that hits. Uh, and then coming down the pipeline, we have the uh, new Altaria. We have the new Altaria, which dragon Pokemon do twenty more damage. Alternate we have the ty alternate type Garchomp. Yep. Which we'll see more play, sadly. So there's a part of me that feels that like this is definitely more of a of like a beta build of the deck, but even then, it's still really good, really consistent. And if you get a chance to build it and play it, I highly suggest building it and playing it. But either way, uh, what other kind of ch what other changes would you make to the deck? Let us know down in the comments down below. And while you're there, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Become a Po Town hero yourself. Uh, hit us up on PTCGO. We are Po underscore Town underscore Heroes. And be sure to hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Heroes. As always, may all your games go well, and may the top deck be in your favor. Till next time.